Good evening ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do a video on, um, it's not really a game, but it's the, this is a thing that I came across on the internet, it's like the 27 best websites for wasting time on the internet in 2020, so somebody made, um, written by, hey, good, 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 I'm just going to jump into it and then see what is actually the website and show you and then so on and so on so on and we see what what is it about and what it is so so you get an idea of what we're looking at so first one is apparently wait but shy sorry wait but why oh my god learn to read dumbass so i haven't been on this website yet and uh, i might not be able to cover every single one but i'm gonna go on and one up another so this is wait but why New post every uh, every sometimes. We're currently publishing a big series called "Okay, You Won't Believe My Morning." It's posts by people. Okay, we will press on it. Okay, there's a lot of text. Chapter ten. Where's chapter one, dude? Oh my god, there's so I think it's something wait, what is this? About here we go. About 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 So Team Urban, Andrew Finn, responsibilities, right posts, every <laughs> okay. Speaking a topic of the for the for the weeks post before realization, luckily after uh what is it I went about, I wanna know what is it about out. I don't want to read what you do. I mean, they're making posts, I think, on people's stories. So, a sick giant. Chapter 10. It's 2020 and you're in the future. Political Disney World. I don't get involved in politics. I don't really want politics. And, yeah. Idea Labs and Echo Chambers. Thinking Ladder. American Brain, the story of us, how to pick a career actually actually fits you. If you like reading, you're up for it. And I mean, if I'm going to start reading, then it's going to be just one video per website. But we're not going to do that since you are may maybe you are, maybe you're not interested in it. So I assume this is about posts, previous posts, the second president debate. Oh, so it's just basically somebody talking. One says one thing, other says other thing. Okay. They have a store, they have a dinner table. They have the shed. If you want to look at it, you can check it out. Not exactly my sort of thing. Maybe a good evening when I can't fall asleep. I can just go through it, I'll read, and then fall asleep. Hopefully, it makes me fall asleep. Well, might be some interesting stuff, and I surely in every single website there's things that, some way or another, they might be, uh, that might make you interested in them. So basically, next one apparently number two is the oatmeal, and the oatmeal is about. Let's see, about about the oatmeal. Everything on this side was written and drawn by Matthew Inman. Matthew lives in a dark little island in the heart of the Salish Sea. Okay. Oh, it's a comic. It's comics, games, and... Ooh, this is cool. This is actually cool. It's just like little comics, little drawings, and it's going to be okay. Just pick one. Just pick a top one. On June 18th, 1947, on a Pan, Pan Am flight from... Oh, how could I... Can't read some of the names, but I'm sorry. To New York, an engine stopped working, which caused another engine to overheat, which caused a fire, which caused a panic. So we got our key words overheat, fire, panic. Good. While the pilot attempted to land a plane, the 25 year old co pilot unbuckled himself. Oh no. He went into the main cabin to help with 
help with passengers. He sat next to a young woman. Wait, you're helping or you're sitting? What are you doing? He was alone. He told her it was going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're lying your ass off, aren't you? He told her this is this as he watched the engine continue to burn. It is going to be okay. Do not worry. It is going to be okay. Do not worry. Ah, the engine is burning down. He told her this as fuel lines became exposed, fire overtook the aircraft, and a plane pitched downward. Going to be okay. But it's not going to be okay. It's not looking as if it would be okay. And she's sitting next to the window that's pointed at, but you can see the engine. So, this is fairly dramatic. This. This is just sad. He told her this. Know that every single person on the plane was about to die. The plane hit hard, crashing into the Syrian desert. Oh, it's not even water. They crashed in desert. 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 Oh, whatever. Fourteen people died instantly. Two crew members survived, including the co-pilot what ha, this, this is what i don't understand now bro it's, it's, it's down there there's a story when there's a... no i'm not even going i can't i can't i'm not going to even talk about it and with a pair of broken ribs he went back into the burning plane pulled survivors from the wreckage eventually the wind turned and fired over to aircraft and so they waited Morning arrived, but a rescue did not. The co-pilot took charge and formed two search parties. The first party went in one direction. The second party, alone with the co-pilot, went into the other wandering in the desert. The desert. It's not desert, it's desert. I think that's, that's what it is. They eventually found a village. A village which had a radio. A call was made and 22 survivors were rescued. As for the co pilot, the crash changed him. After that, he did not want to be a pilot anymore. That's quite understandable and that's quite emotional. He wanted to do something different with his life. He resigned from Panam to pursue a career in writing and ultimately. Television. His name was Gene Roddenberry and he created Star Trek. How real? This story is not in, intended as an odd to Roddenberry, although he certainly deserves one. Prior to working in television, he was a decorated World War II pilot, a plane crash investigator, and an LA cop. He survived three plane crashes. Oh, what? How? This story is intended to remind you that your journey are short. Burnbury saw life ephemeral nature lit up against a backdrop of stars. He saw that we are all passengers pitching downward into the night. He saw that we are all hopeless. So get up and help someone. And my video just like like 10 minutes and it's like on a on just a second website fucking great i'm keeping this i'm bookmarking it and it is freaking awesome so just so we don't really waste this i'm just gonna tell you the list of the other ones there's a super cook there's a Ocean, oh, 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 search shark tracker. What? There's a website that tracks sharks. There's apartment therapy, a soft murmur, Lego videos. Okay, I'm not really into the Legos as my friend. My friend is very gravity points. That might be Pottermore. I think there's something to do with Potter, Harry Potter, X 
KCD no idea, BuzzFeed. Uh, I think most of us have heard of BuzzFeed. The toes, the onion. <laughs> this is about definitely about toes, about onions. <laughs> Please don't be a butt crack. Mental flaws. How stuff works. This could be interesting. Like how stuff works, how things are made. Life hackers make space dot com space is very interesting topic. I'm you are. I think many people just go there and look. Animal planet. Kid on puppy camps. Holy shit. Some people just could watch them like 24-7. Zillow, no idea what it is. Google Maps, Street View. Oh, I have lost myself. Sometimes just walking through like uh, my old town where I used to live in or nearby lived in. Looking how they look now. It's... it's... And I even found myself in one of the... Uh, a couple of pictures like... Dude, I didn't even know they were taking pictures at the exact moment. Like, oh me and me, just walking like... With the Jiffy Wayback Machine and the Ore Oregon Tail Trail. So that's pretty much it. And I will be spending on the oatmeal for a bit of a time now. Because that was great. That was great. And to just finish it off, you know what we're going to do? We're going to read another. We're going to look at another one. I know it was the the idea was the 27 best websites, but we're driving off and it is what it is. Life it is the way it is. And well, I make a video, I make rules, and it is the way I want it. I'm sorry, but it is. If my dogs were a pair of middle-aged men, oh God, he's leaving again. Do you think he ever coming back? No, Jenkins, not this time. What do we do? The only thing we can do, Jerkins. Bark, bark, bark. Bark. What? Acting like dogs. Somebody's... What? Okay, he is sneezing. Emergency, 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 emergency. Emergency, 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 emergency. Okay, that's just a bit disturbing. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, they wanted a dog for... Oh, they are... Those are dogs that have just been drawn as humans and it's just... Okay, I get it. I get it. It's just as if they would be human. What, what... This is... This food is so dang delicious. Hawk, hawk. Do dog and a cat. I think. Okay. Chew, chew, gobble. Hawk, hawk, cool hawk. He's choked. Oh no, he threw up. And then they would sleep. And then somebody pressed on the door. Oh, so basically, it's as if somebody would have uh, called on the door, like, murderer, murderer. And they, they, they. And they love the postman. Oh, Jenkins, first you must pick a spot. Then spin around, not once, but th thrice. Okay, okay, those are dogs, not, not dog and a cat, they're just dogs. Now before you let it out, find the nearest human, preferably a small child, and make an interrupted eye contact over there across the street. Hey, him. Perfect form, Jenkins. The end. This is the. It's a interesting take on this. Which funny. There's more. Continue to part two. Are we reading part two? If my dogs were a pair of middle-aged men. Okay. Part two. <laughs> but if my dogs were middle. Okay. That that's interesting. That is a good name for it. Hey, throw the ball. Well, we will play fetch like they do in the movies. It won't be like last time, I promise. Uh, throw in, run away. Fuck! 
So wait, he threw, he ran after it, and he never came back. He was waiting all day. Why would you wait all day? Hey, wanna play? I brought my favorite toy. No, what about this one? Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh my god, it's playtime. I don't wanna play. Outdoors. Look, I'm make mechanized. Ape monster. It's an ape. <laughs> this year has ape monster. I said dominance, loud noises, strength, and honor. The fuck is that thing? Run into it. Run, Jenkins. Run with the legs God gave you. Slop, slop. Hey, what are you doing? Do your testicles itch? What a coincidence. I also have <laughs> No <laughs> you can't sleep <laughs> Why you have to point that direction? <laughs> oh, Matt, I have things I need to say. First thing, I'm lonely. I would very much like to sit on your lap. You are middle aged man okay. You are a big dog or a big middle aged man and you're gonna crush him. I know the couch is forbidden, but I am overcome the sadness. My face is literally a slip and slide of tears. Excellent! My sadness has been vanquished. Second thing, I have dried shit stuck to my bum. <laughs> oh my gosh, hook! <coughs> the guy. Who comes up with this? How is it? Oh god, Jenkins. It's so bad. It's so bad. He's petting me, but with a warm water, which is which I find an inexplicably agonizing. Look away, Jenkins. Poof. <laughs> wow, look. Super weird. I said look away. Oh, there's more, but we're not gonna do more. Anyway, thank you for watching. This was great. Check out the oatmeal website it's amazing and i'll be seeing you next time in another video i bid you farewell don't do anything stupid bye bye